Hey guys, welcome to Treadmill Review Guru. I'm Sydney and today I'm reviewing the Walking Pad R2 2-in-1 Treadmill. This is a treadmill that you can use under a desk and on its own. It's compact and it has a unique folding feature. In this review, I'm going to walk you through everything that you need to know and show you how it performed for us. All right, let's check out the construction on the walking pad R2. So its footprint as it's completely laid out like this is around 57 inches long, roughly 28 inches wide and 40.6 inches high, depending on the height of the handles. Like other walking pad treadmills, this one is unique. It has a folding feature where the deck literally folds in half like this and it folds in half right here. And then what's also nice about the R2 is that you can store it upright. So when it's folded, you can store it upright. So it takes really up a small amount of space. So you can push it against a wall, maybe put it behind furniture so you don't have to see it or even store it into a closet. I know when I'm using this at my desk, I'll set it right next to my desk so it's just kind of out of the way. And it's really impressive how uh, storable and compact it is when it's laid out like this and also when it's folded up. So, and it kind of reminds me of the walk Pad X21, which we have a, a video review on our YouTube channel that you can check out. Um, when it's stored, stored upright, it reminds me of this one, except for the R2 just has uh, one folding feature where the X21 uh, double folds. So uh, something to keep in mind. Also, with the R2, this is a two-in-one option. So this means that these handles fold down to kind of surround the deck of the treadmill and you can slide it under a desk to be able to work at your desk. And with its size, it fits under most size desks. And then also those handles uh, fold up so you can use this like in the middle of a room and have those handles for balance. Also these handles, you can adjust the height of them. So if you're taller, you can raise them up even higher than this or you can uh, lower them down to about here. So this makes the R2 highly versatile. And with its frame, it is made out of aluminum, so it's lightweight. It's actually only about 90 pounds. And it does have transportation wheels on the front. So when it's folded and stored upright, you can wheel it around. Something to keep in mind though, is that those transportation wheels are a little bit small considering the size of the treadmill. So we've noticed like, uh, rolling it across like plush carpet, you kind of feel like you're dragging it um, just because those wheels are a little bit small. So maybe in a future up upgrade, we would like to see larger transportation wheels, but considering this treadmill only weighs about 90 pounds, it's not, that's not too big of a deal. It handles users up to 240 pounds. So a nice weight limit, especially considering uh, how small and lightweight this treadmill is. And it has a brushless motor that we find to actually be fairly quiet. I have been using this under my desk and my coworkers don't seem to be uh, too upset with me and they don't find it to be too disruptive. So, and like other treadmills, when you're using it underneath a desk at lower speeds, for example, it only goes up to about uh, 3.7 miles per hour when you're using it under a desk, which I use treadmill desks at about one to two miles per hour. So it's kind of like the max amount of speed that I'm able to use uh, a treadmill at a desk in order to be able to you know, operate a computer. 3.7 miles per hour should be plenty for most. And when you are using it on its own, with those handles folded up like this, it goes up to 7.5 miles per hour. So kind of a jogging, maybe running pace for some. Like other treadmills, the motor does get a little bit louder the faster that you're using it. Overall, we feel like the motor should be able to handle light to moderate use. This isn't going to be a model that you want to you know, train for a race on, but considering uh, how small it is, light to moderate use, and primarily walking and some jogging is appropriate. Also, the deck length is about 47 inches long and it's 17 inches wide. So obviously this isn't the largest treadmill that we've tested. And something to keep in mind with this deck length is that some users might not be able to fully run um, and fully use the treadmill at that 7.5 miles per hour. For reference, I'm about five foot one, so I am pretty short and my running stride isn't super long, so I'm able to use the R2 at its full 7.5 miles per hour speed and I have enough room. Uh, but you've, if you have a longer running stride, just something to keep in mind, you might not be able to uh, jog or 
be able to go up to that full speed. And also considering the folding feature, something that we've noticed with walking pad treadmills is that when you're walking or even jogging on the deck, you can feel what they call a fold hinge. So it's right where that deck folds in half. You can feel it underfoot. It'll be more no noticeable for you at first if you haven't uh, used a treadmill that folds in half like this. However, we've noticed with time, like I really get to where I just don't feel it at all, even when I'm uh, running on this one. So, and we noticed like compared to the Walking Pad X21 is that it's not as noticeable as that model. This one just feels, uh, you don't notice that little kind of hinge or seam as much. So we really like that. And we really like that it's able to fold up and store out of the way. And Walking Pad includes a one year warranty for the R2 and it comes fully assembled out of the box. So it's ready to go. So the console on the R2 is essentially just built into the top of the motor hood. The display here will show your time, distance, calories, steps, and speed. So you have to kind of look down every time you want to see uh, where you're at with things and especially if what uh, speed you're at. The R2 is controlled with this little handheld remote. So you have the little plus button to increase your speed. It's your start stop is in the center and then uh, you can control the speed and slow it down with this button. So, and it does make noise every time you press a button and when the deck will start and stop, just to let you know that the belt is uh, going to move and it's going to stop. Something to keep in mind is that when you have those handles folded up and you're using this treadmill on its own, there aren't any adjustment buttons built into the handle. There is a place for you to put your phone or tablet, which is kind of nice. You can also essentially just put this in front of your TV, which is kind of more what I recommend if you want to you know, watch something and have some entertainment while you're using the treadmill. A little tip that we have is that the safety key actually clips into the top of the handles. And even when you're using this under a desk, when you have those handles folded flat, you need to make sure that the safety key stays clipped in, otherwise the belt won't start. So it's just something to keep in mind with that. Also, as I mentioned, you control this with a, a handheld remote. You can also download the KS Fit app to pair it with your phone. This treadmill is Bluetooth enabled to do that so you can see your uh, metrics in there. You can also control and adjust the treadmill. So in the app, so if you were to lose the remote, you have that option, which is really nice. And there is a, a manual mode. So right now it's currently on manual mode. This means that if I were to use the app or the handheld remote, I can adjust it however I want. And then with the A, the A is automatic mode. This mode is nice. It's, I feel like I could use a little bit of tweaking. So it allows you to control the speed of the treadmill with your feet. When you get on, when you walk further up on the belt closer to the motor, the speed will increase. And then when you walk further back, kind of near where the treadmill folds in half and kind of towards the rear part of the belt, that speed will slow down. It's not quite as seamless as it sounds. However, I know for me, I have a little bit of trouble being able to keep a constant speed. Um, so I think that this is a nice feature and it's definitely nice and handy to have in case you don't want to use the remote or the app. Uh, but I think it just can use a little bit of tweaking in order to make it a little bit easier to control your speed. So overall, this uh, LED panel is clear to be able to see everything. It's really straightforward and using, whether you're just using the remote or the app, uh, it is easy to control and use the R2. All right, now I'm going to show you how to unfold the R2 and I'm going to walk and jog on it so you can see and hear how it performs. But first, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. We create reviews like this for you so you can see and hear how fitness equipment like these treadmills perform before you take it home. And we have a lot of reviews coming your way, so make sure you're subscribed. Now, with the R2, as you can see, this is when it's folded and stored upright. It really takes up a small amount of space. Like I said, you can just push it against a wall. It is a little bit of a process to kind of store it and then unfold it so you can use it. So I'm gonna take you through that. Something to keep in mind is that in order to kind of store it to be the most compact is that you need the handles to uh, be all the way down like they are here. So in order to unfold the deck, like if I were to use this underneath uh, a desk, I would have to take the handles and push them all the way out. 
and then lock them in place so they don't move around. This way, I have enough room to be able to unfold the deck. So this would be ready to go, slide it underneath a, a treadmill, or underneath the desk to use the treadmill. And then if I wanted to use this on its own, I have to completely unlock these little handles. You can lift the handles up, and then you just have to lock them into place. So here is the complete height of the handles. You can also lower them like I will since I am short and they get a little sticky. So I'll keep them right about here. So now the R2 is completely unfolded and ready to go and use on its own. All right, now I'm going to uh, walk and jog on the R2 so you can see and hear it in action. And it makes that beeping noise just to let you know that the deck is going to start moving, or the belt. So I'm at three miles per hour here, just a casual walking pace. Now I'm gonna increase it to five miles per hour. And here's 7.5 miles per hour, which is the max speed. So overall, it's actually pretty quiet. Even the foot noise is relatively low. So we recommend this for most spaces. You can also use it on uh, upper level floors because it's lightweight. Really shouldn't make that make uh, too much sound. So appropriate for like apartments, condos, pretty much kind of any size or any home space. Now, one of our other reviewers, Matt, is going to hop on the R2. He's six foot five. Here he is walking at three miles per hour. At five miles per hour. and it's 7.5 miles per hour. Thanks for watching our review of the Walking Pad R2 2-in-1 treadmill. Some things that we really like is that this treadmill can be used under pretty much any size desk and it can also be used on its own. When you're using it under a desk, it goes up to 3.7 miles per hour, which gives you plenty of speed to work with when you're working at your desk. And when it's on its own, it goes up to 7.5 miles per hour, so you can use it for walking and jogging. Also, the deck folds in half and it stores upright, so you can push it over into a corner or you can even store it in a closet out of sight. Also, the handles have a device rack, so you can place your phone or tablet on the treadmill. You can also place it in front of your TV and those handles adjust uh, the height depending on your height. And overall, this treadmill is lightweight and storable. Some things to keep in mind is that with this deck length, some users might not be able to fully run or jog on it just because it is pretty compact. Also, the transportation wheels are a little bit small. We would like to see them uh, larger, maybe on an upgrade. So dragging it across the carpet is a little bit more challenging, kind of feels like you're dragging across uh, that surface. And with those handles, they're a little sticky to adjust up and down, but you can adjust them just fine. And really these are just a small amount of gripes considering how compact, lightweight, and storable the R2 is. If you want to learn more, head to treadmillreviewguru.com. We have a full written review there. And you can check the link in the description for the current price. And if you like this video and find it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We create reviews like this for you so you can see and hear how fitness equipment like this performs before you take it home. I'm Sydney with Treadmill Review Guru. I'll see you next time.